You want to download and install Dawncraft. And honestly, I don't blame you. It is the most popular mod pack out there right now. And there's a reason. It is an amazing mod pack with so much custom content. It, it, it Just look at that. Absolutely incredible. How do you download Dawncraft? Well, you're going to want the Curse Forge launcher. To download the Curse Forge launcher, you're going to want to go to the second link in the description down below. That will take you here. This is our complete text guide on getting Curse Forge, but we're going to be covering everything in this video as well, so don't worry too much about it. Just once you're here, click on the Download Curse Forge button to be taken to the official Curse Forge download page. Once you're here, you want to click on the Download Stand Alone button to start downloading Curse Forge right away. And while this is downloading, how to mention our company, Simple Game Hosting. You can check out Simple Game Hosting at the first link in the description down below the breakdown.xyz slash sgh and start your very own Dawncraft server quickly and easily. Within minutes, you'll be playing with your friends literally as soon as you purchase your server. Just click on Mod Packs in the control panel, select the Dawncraft version you want, and click Install. It's on the server. It's that easy, and from there, you join it just like you would any other Minecraft server. The only caveat is you do have to have Dawncraft installed locally, which you're watching the video for now. But now, we don't only just support Dawncraft. We support tons of other Mod Packs at Simple Game Hosting, and you can easily switch to another mod pack should Dawncraft not end up being your thing. On top of all that, we support plugins, individual mods, and even vanilla servers, so the options are truly endless. So if you want to play Dawncraft with your friends, go ahead and check out Simple Game Hosting at the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash sgh and start your Dawncraft server the simple way. CurseForge is now downloaded. We can go ahead and minimize our browser, and it's going to be located in your downloads folder. I'd recommend moving this to your desktop, but you don't have to. Double click on the CurseForge Windows installer that you downloaded. It's then gonna open up the CurseForge installer just like this, where you wanna click on Next, click on I have read and agreed to the terms of service here, click on Next again, and now CurseForge will install. It is literally that easy to get CurseForge up and running. Just click next a few times, accept the terms, and boom, CurseForge will install and open up right like so. Once it's open, what we want to do is click on Minecraft here. It's grayed out right now. That's because we've not set up CurseForge for it yet. Let's go ahead and click on Minecraft. Just click on Standard Recommended here and click Continue. It's now going to get everything ready and we can get Dawncraft installed. In order to do that, you want to go up to the top up here and just search for Dawncraft. Hit enter, and there it is, Dawncraft, an adventure RPG. Click on the orange install button here on the right, and it will go ahead and start installing Dawncraft. Now you can click back and go to Mind Mod Packs, and you'll see it installing here. Now we just sit back and wait, while CurseForge downloads hundreds of mods and gets them installed into Minecraft for us. And with Dawncraft installed, we can now play it. Just hover over Dawncraft, you'll see this play button, click that, and now the Minecraft launcher is going to open. You will need to log into the Minecraft launcher, it's completely normal, and it is actually the default Minecraft launcher here, right? It's the normal Minecraft launcher, so log into it just like you normally would when you're playing vanilla Minecraft. And then, once you're here, what you want to do is make sure that the Dawncraft profile is selected. In some cases, you may want to add more RAM. You can do this by going up to Installations, hovering over Dawncraft, clicking the three dots, and clicking Edit. Then, go into More Options here, scroll down, and you'll see the amount of RAM dedicated here at the beginning. XMX. I would recommend at least six gigabytes, which would be entering 6,208 here, but it really just depends on the mod pack and Dawncraft is pretty resource intensive. You may need to add more here. Nevertheless, go ahead and click save if you need to, and we can play Dawncraft by just clicking on this play button. Mod packs take a long time to open. It's not uncommon for a mod pack like Dawncraft to take five or 10 minutes, depending on your computer's resources. So just sit back, relax, and let it do its thing. It, by the way, will close the Minecraft launcher and look like nothing's happening. That's perfectly normal. Just keep waiting. Once it's open, we will see you to uh, check out Dawncraft. So there we go. Dawncraft is open. And while I was getting installed, I went ahead and set up Dawncraft on a simple game hosting server. We can join right on into it, just like you would any other Minecraft server, and start playing Dawncraft. It's honestly really, really cool. So as you can see, here we are. Dawncraft by default starts out in third person. I believe uh, you can change, yes, you can change it to first person. And truthfully, it's pretty hostile from my experience. Every time I've started playing Dawncraft, stuff starts attacking me pretty much right away. Um, actually, it seems like we're okay though. We can see we've got stamina and truthfully, there's a ton of stuff going on in this mod pack. We've even got a palm tree here, custom biomes. It, it's crazy, everything that Dawncraft has and what you can do and explore in it. By getting started, we do have our map here. We've also got a compass. We've got the antique atlas. We've got all sorts of stuff, even some bread to get us started out. But Dawncraft is now installed. If you have any questions, let us know in the comment section down below. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more incredible Minecraft content every single day of the week. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.